Happy New Year! Aloha guys! This is Rochelle. I am starting the New Year off with daily vlogs. Today is January 1st um, and I'm about to grab me a cup of coffee. So hold on. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Got my coffee. So, 2022. What's in store? I did not stay on keto for the holidays and I planned it that way. I um, told myself in the year, like I planned out my year and I thought to myself, okay, so here is my year laid out. I got a calendar and everything. These are the special occasions, birthdays, uh, holidays, um, events. And those were the days that I knew in my head that I would go off plan and that's totally okay because when I plan ahead, <clears throat> typically um, I don't over binge or go overboard or whatever. What I do is I plan, okay, what are the foods that I miss the most and can I fit that into this day or this holiday or this time of year? <clears throat> so I knew Thanksgiving and the day after Thanksgiving and probably the weekend after Thanksgiving. So four days I planned, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I planned that I was gonna be off plan and um, I had a different plan, but, um, so I knew, okay, I, I want pumpkin crunch, definitely. Um, I knew for sure I wanted sweet potato casserole. Um, the green bean casserole is not bad for you, and I knew I wanted that. Um, I knew I wanted mashed potatoes, but I gotta tell you, doing keto, um, the mashed cauliflower tastes way better than mashed potatoes to me and my family, even to my husband. So instead of mashed potatoes, we did we stuck with mashed cauliflowers. So you know you, you do some choices that are still low carb choices and you can kind of work with that. So um so of course we had the turkey. We had one dessert and we all know Thanksgiving pumpkin pie is the dessert so we did pumpkin crunch which is one of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> and I'll link the recipe below for you for that pumpkin crunch recipe. It is definitely not keto. You could probably make it keto because pumpkin is keto in itself, so you could probably switch it out. Maybe I'll work on a keto version of my pumpkin crunch. If you want to see that, comment below and let me know. Um, <clears throat> so we had one dessert, and then the sweet potato casserole is kind of a dessert because it has marshmallows on top, so I eat it as a side. So turkey, um, green bean casserole, sweet potato casserole, stuffing was another non-keto thing that I really wanted because we only get that once a year. Um, and then the cauliflower mash and gravy. That was our Thanksgiving and it was perfect. I gotta tell you that pumpkin crunch, I made a big square pan, I didn't make a circle pan. I made a big nine by 13 pumpkin squares style and so good. that. In two days, that thing was gone. My whole family loved it. <clears throat> and there's only four of us. So that was a plan. And then for Christmas, we I like tradition to a certain degree, but I'm from Hawaii, so we kind of have our own traditions. Christmas, I decided because on keto, we eat a lot of ham and bacon and meats and chicken and stuff. And we just had turkey for Thanksgiving. So I wanted to put more money into our main meal more than desserts. So <clears throat> for Christmas, I planned ahead and I made just a roast. Just a roast, I made a beef roast. Uh, I don't know what you kind of call it. It's not roast beef, because it's a different kind of cut, but there's beef, a hunk, two pieces of big beef. I put it in the slow cooker and <clears throat> with the gravy, powder um, and some beef stock and I slow cooked that baby for eight hours and that was our main dish and I made roasted potatoes garlic roasted potatoes for the side because I haven't had potatoes in a long time and and like I said for Thanksgiving we ended up having mashed cauliflower instead of mashed potatoes so I made roasted potatoes um, for Christmas along with the beef and then just uh, broiled string beans and the presents was the highlights we had a little bit of ice cream for dessert um, kept it simple, but really family time and the presents were the focus, not the food. Don't get me wrong, because that beef, that roast that I made was so good. 
probably gonna do that every Christmas. Um, no ham on Christmas. We eat ham sandwiches and ham stuff all year long, so that cut of meat is kind of a more pricey cut of meat, but so worth it for Christmas, so. I think we'll do that every Christmas from now on. But as you can see, if you plan ahead, you can be very minimal with what you binge eat on. Um, <clears throat> and you can have a very focused uh, meal and dessert on the things that you miss more than just crap that show up or whatever, um, or just junky stuff that really doesn't fulfill your happiness. What makes me happy is when I focus on, oh man, I miss that pumpkin crunch, boom. And then for like birthdays and stuff throughout the year, we do cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. So um, <clears throat> instead of buying a big gift for our kids who are all older now, if they're home with us or if they're home for their birthday, um, and then for my birthday, for my husband's birthday, we will buy a half a cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. I say half because I used to buy a whole one and it would, it's so huge and decadent and it took forever. We'd have to freeze it and it would linger in our houses forever. So <clears throat> I found out that they sell any cheesecake flavor in a half portion. So I got half a cheesecake um, and that is perfect. And we still have a little bit of leftovers to freeze and eat and stuff. So for birthdays throughout the year, that's the one thing we indulge in. We don't do birthday cake. Um, that really, I'm really not a cake person. I'm not a confectionery person. I'm like a creamy cheesecake, ice cream type of person. Um, pie, I'm a pie person. I'm not a cake cookie or anything like that confectionery person. So, so that's the plan for those things. And then do the same thing for like 4th of July celebrations or um, events that you have to go to, um, if you have to bring your own food, or if you know what they're having, and even if you don't know what they're having, you can always um, eat before you go so you're not as hungry when you get there. But I think it's important to allow yourself to enjoy things that you miss because doing this lifestyle is not about restriction for me. It is about enjoying my life the best I can. And if that means, on special days like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter and birthdays, I get to have some of my favorite things that are not keto, then that's what I'm gonna do. And that's how I choose to live my year on keto. So today is January 1st, it's New Year's Day. I have some leftover um, mochi. We made mochi for New Year's uh, Day. It's a Hawaiian slash Japanese tradition um, that represents good fortune and long life. So we made mochi. Um, Ikaika and I, two days ago we started and then we made the rest yesterday and so we have some left because we can't stop eating it, it's so good. But it's basically made out of, it's a chewy dessert made out of rice flour, um, sweet rice flour and sugar and coconut milk um, and some other ingredients and you bake it, you cut it up and you roll it in potato starch and they're little bite-sized chewy goodness. Um, and that's one thing I miss, um, being on keto because, and being away from Hawaii because I don't get to have that much often. So for New Year's, since it, mochi is a New Year's tradition, I save mochi making and mochi eating for New Year's. And wake up in the morning and you start keto all over again when it's not a holiday. So <clears throat> keto's not hard, it's not restrictive. Um, yeah, you're gonna fluctuate if you go off plan for too long. Like I've been off plan since Christmas Eve. Today is New Year's Day. I've kind of been letting myself between Christmas Day. So between the 26th, the day after Christmas, and between that and between the December 26th and December 29th, um, those days, I pretty much stayed keto. I mean, it wasn't hard to do. I just ate low carb, very low carb um, between those two days because I knew Christmas and New Year's Eve is close together and we are going to enjoy. So we did. So I made a chicken curry with carrots and potato in it. Um, you can make curry without the potatoes. You can add cauliflower instead and it will give you the same textures. But we did it with potatoes this year. Um, it was, that was our New Year's meal, New Year's Eve meal and mochi for dessert. That was all we had. So 
And during the day, I ate low carb. My only non-keto meal and dessert was for dinner. So breakfast and lunch, or I didn't even have breakfast, just lunch was a keto lunch. So that's how I live my year in keto. I hope this helps anybody who wants to start keto. If you are starting keto for the first time and you're doing it to lose weight, like if you have a chunk of weight that you need to lose, I would suggest that the first three months you do clean keto. And when I say clean keto, I mean whole foods that are low in carbs. And um, I have a keto first time grocery list on my Instagram account. Um, and I'll link my Instagram account below. It's in my highlights. Um, and you can message me or shoot me a comment if you can't find it and I'll send it to you. But um, I do have a keto grocery list for first time beginners <clears throat> and what to get. And it is a clean keto grocery list. But I would suggest three months of clean keto and just the, the water weight comes off, the bloat comes off, some of the fat comes off. Um, you lose quite a bit of weight when you do it that way. And then you can transition to either dirty keto, lazy keto, they got different kinds of ketos now. Um, dirty keto, lazy keto, or intermittent fasting, um, keto, however you want to do it. But the first three months, if you're doing it for weight loss, is the crucial months. Those are the months that I lost the most weight and I was like that 30 pounds went boom off and I'm able to maintain it now by just sticking to low carb I don't even count macros anymore um, but anyways guys I hope you guys had a wonderful 2021 and don't forget to like this video if it was helpful at all or if you want to see more of it um, make sure to like and subscribe and share it with your friends that are starting a low carb keto lifestyle this year if your new year's resolution is to be healthier um i don't eat anything crazy it's foods that everyday foods that we eat so even if you want to just be healthier in your choices give me a follow i'm on instagram at mrs mommy martin and i will see you guys this year in 2022 Aloha.